Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Recently, Microsoft Edge has been creating new desktop shortcuts after each update. And I don't know if you have noticed that, but I have noticed that um, the stable version, as an example, which has received a couple of maintenance and security updates over the last week or two, as I've been posting, after each update has left a new uh, shortcut on the desktop. And the same is happening with the preview versions. So that would be Edge Canary, the dev and the beta versions. And um, the Edge Canary browser gets updated almost on a daily basis. And I have noticed that recently um, it's also been leaving a new shortcut after each and every update. So this was not the case. And at this stage, we don't know if this is a bug or if this is, this is just a new strategy by Microsoft. But if you have noticed and have seen uh, that the browser is creating uh, new shortcuts after each and every update, then in this video, we are going to have a quick look as to how we can stop Microsoft Edge from creating a new desktop shortcut after it has been updated. Now to do this, we need to edit the registry. And if you are comfortable to edit the registry, uh, we need to head to the start menu, right click on the start menu, click on run, enter reg edit and click on OK. And this will open up the Windows registry editor. Now, um, as I always do suggest before fiddling and making changes in the registry, always just do a quick export, a backup. It doesn't take very long. So if you have fiddled and something goes wrong, you can always just import that backup. Now, with that out the way, um, at first we need to navigate through a couple of keys before we make the changes. And at first, navigate to HKey Local Machine and open up and expand that key. Then do the same with the software key and then head down to Policies and open up and expand Policies. And then in and under the Policies key, we need to look for Microsoft and open up and expand the Microsoft key. Now, in the Microsoft key, we are looking for a key called Edge Update. Now, as you can see, I don't have a key called Edge Update. I only have Microsoft Edge. So if you're not seeing the key Edge Update, called Edge Update, then we need to um, we need to create a new key and rename it Edge Update. So to do this, we just right click on Microsoft, head to New Key, and we need to rename it Edge Update. And I'll leave a detailed description down below for you just to copy and paste if that would help. Copy, and we need to rename that new key Edge Update. And then once that's done, we need to create a new DWORD 32-bit value for the Edge Update key. And to do this, we right-click on the Edge Update key, head to New, and then click on DWORD 32-bit value. And the same applies. We need to rename that value. This time, we need to rename it to Create Desktop Shortcut Default. I'm just going to copy that in quickly. And we rename that value to this create desktop shortcut default and then just to double check that value data should be on zero so to double check we just uh, uh, double click on the value and just look at the value data if that is anything else but zero just rename it then to zero and then once you've done that click on ok and then x out and close the registry and then i would suggest restarting your device and um, you should notice and um, the next time uh, the Edge browser, be that the preview versions or the stable version, um, is updated. Uh, it should not then create a new shortcut after that update. Now, as mentioned at the beginning of this video, um, it's not known if this is a bug or if this is a new strategy by, by Microsoft to create a new desktop shortcut after each update. But if for some reason it does get fixed or the bug gets addressed and fixed in the future, then you can always just reverse the process. So then you just come back. Um, you just navigate through all the different uh, keys as I have shown in this video and you head to the value you have created and uh, you just that would be the create desktop shortcut default value and all you need to do is delete that value if you want to reverse the process and if you had to create an edge update key you do exactly the same you delete the edge update key and once that's done you close the registry and then you just restart your device and then that should reverse and restore uh, the whole process. So that's just a quick way. If you have seen and noticed that the browser is leaving brand new shortcuts after each update, how you can stop uh, the preview versions and the stable version from doing so. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.